We do indeed look, it's falling down the mount. <laughs> so we finally have found something that is not hiding. <laughs> Oopsie, and there we go, sliding down. So we've got two baby elephants that are being very naughty and they keep going up this mound and then falling off and playing with one another. It's been really very cool to watch. Um, quite glad that we've managed to find them. It's been this very slow morning. Our wild dogs unfortunately didn't come back and they ended up running straight east into Cheetah Plains and so we unfortunately couldn't follow them any further and we tried to see if we could get more visuals but alas we didn't. So then we came back towards Chitwa Dam and found some elephant tracks and now we've got the cutest two baby elephants that are busy having such a good time and with this cooler weather sometimes the babies will end up being quite playful because they don't have to worry about the heat and it brings out their far more playful side. But aren't they cute? Look how wrinkly it is. <laughs> you are naughty. It was quite funny watching them just now when they were trying to break branches and then the one was on the mound, the other one was trying to push it off. They really are quite entertaining when they're at this age and when they're in this kind of mood. It is always fun to watch them. Race, you better go catch up with mom. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. And you can see there comes some of the adults. So it's a small grouping. It's not too many of them. I can't see exactly how many we've got. It's quite thick in here. And it's amazing how much less wind there is where we are. We've kind of come into this little alcove of trees. And it most definitely is a lot less windy inside here. And it makes it much easier to be able to sort of sit and and enjoy these elephants because earlier the wind was really getting quite vicious out there near the airstrip with the wild dogs and that's probably why the elephants have come in here it's just there's a lot more sheltered and they can spend their sort of morning or day feeding here and when they need water they can just pop down to Chitra Dam and then from there back into these thickets and try and use these thickets to stay out of the wind and look at how she's beating the grass So Aaron, you're wondering how old these Ellie's are, or the baby Ellie's, should I say? Well, I would say, just trying to see, the one is younger than the other one. So the one is probably, I would say, maybe just about a year old, and the other one a little bit older. I'm just trying to see if I can't see any signs of the tusks. They've gone behind a tree now, so it's difficult to see them clearly. But I would say about a year old, just over a year for the one, and the other one about a year, just under a year, somewhere there. So they're still very little and that's why they're still so playful and it's fun to watch them because they still busy learning how to use their trunks as well you can see the trunk moves every now and then and they try to grab things but they've got no power in their trunks so the bushes don't break and then this frustration builds up and eventually then there's a shake of the head and off they run so i'm going to try and just reposition so that we can still see the little babies because they really are so cute let's see if we go around this way we should get a bit more luck with the babies And the herd seems to be super relaxed, which I'm quite surprised about. Generally in windier conditions, you often find the Ellie's can be a little bit more nervous of what's going on. And they tend to be a little bit more sort of conscious of movement and noise around them. They don't disappear now. Well, it's because mom is moving off that the rest of them are carrying on as well. So Chitty Chatty Meg broke up a little bit but i think you said are those elephants twins well i don't think so and um, they look like they're slightly different sizes so it might be that they just closely born well in terms of two females had young ones at a very similar time it does happen from time to time but i don't think that they are twins oh, it seems like they're moving off i'm going to just turn around so that i can actually follow the herd it's amazing always how all of a sudden there's a message that goes up and the herd just starts to move they were all stationary feeding and it was all very relaxed and then in two seconds, everybody decided it's time to go, and they've all just disappeared away from us. Craig, am I all right at the back there? Now, the problem is with where we are is there's lots of fallen over stumps because of the ellies, and so you've got to be a bit careful here when you're driving around. But hopefully we can just go through this open section, and they should emerge on the other side. It's quite open on the other side of this sort of thicket that's in front of me then it should be quite pleasant to watch them from the other side here. And they've come from quite far. We followed their tracks from sort of the main road and then they cut through along Bugalutu North 
and then from there they went on to Faganyao, which is all roads on Chitwa, and then up to this area here. So there we go, that's better. So now we can at least see the herd is just slowly starting to come out and starting to move into this more open clearing. And there's another termite mound coming up, so hopefully our babies are going to go up that mound and the games and the shenanigans will continue as they go. Now, the two of them probably also spending so much time together and, and why it looks like they are twins or related is because they're spending a lot of time together. And that's because there's no other young animals within this herd. Most of the other elephants here are quite sort of old. They're nine, ten years um, is the sort of the other ages of the younger elephants. And so these two don't really have that much company. And so you'll find that they come together and they will play. Also, twins in elephants is very uncommon. It's not a common thing that you get. And there's only a few recorded cases of twins. And so it would be highly unlikely that they would be twins. It's not beyond the realms of possibility, but they do look like they're slightly different in sizes. And there's one that looks a little bit older than the other. But I'm hoping they're going to come out from behind that bush because they're still playing around with one another. They're still pushing and games going on. And you can see this is where they try and learn how to use the trunk. Nope, decided can't do it. Off I go. Maybe they are twins, actually. Now that I look at them, now that they're not on the mound, they are of very similar size. And they keep following the same female. It's, it is possible. It's Like I say, I have seen it before. I've seen two Ellie's drinking off the same mother, so that would typically signify twins. So it is very possible indeed. And maybe that's the case. But I can see there's another female that's producing milk as well at the back here. So Marissa, you say every time say every time we sit with Ellie's, you feel such serenity. Well, Melissa, I can tell you that it is exactly the same for us. There's something about sitting with elephants. And I actually read a whole sort of report about this, and it was something along the lines of the fact that they produce a sound that is such low frequency that a lot of the time our ears don't pick up, but the elephants can obviously hear. We, our brains are able to still work out that there is a sound coming. So we don't actively know that it's coming, but that triggers us to release endorphins in our brain. And it's similar to that of swimming with dolphins is that we feel a lot of emotions when we're around elephants. So either it's happiness or there is this sort of serenity feel that you get. And so that's pretty common when sitting in amongst elephants. The other side of it is, is that they're just such gentle animals when they walk around and especially when they're in a relaxed state of affairs that it just kind of, it feels slow paced and relaxing and just to watch them slowly feed along and then the antics of the little ones in amongst the herd, it's sort of a very slow, relaxing, interesting way and you get engrossed within the herd and that's why you probably feel the way that you do and I can tell you it's no different for us that are here on the ground with the Ellie's themselves. Now we're going to wait for our, <coughs> excuse me, our Ellie's to come out just a little bit and so while we do that, let's go across to Byron and see if he's managed to find anything else this morning and whether or not he's warmed up a little bit after his coffee break.